pretty cool. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that awesome. And I ran Beta Breakers. Oh, God, that's oh, right. Yeah. I meant to ask you about that. Yeah, I did that. Right. You, I don't, you actually ran it? Yeah. Like so, a real race? Well, that's the thing. is like I had heard people talk about this, like it was some crazy city event or party or whatever. Yeah, so set it up for people who don't live in the Bay Area. Yeah, as someone who came in from out of town, like a lot of people told me, because I, I moved here like 11 months ago, so Beta Breakers had just kind of ended. And they were like, oh, man, you just missed Beta Breakers. Just missed Beta Breakers. Man, that's the best party. Citywide party. And I was like, what, what the fuck is this? I'm like, oh, it's like this race, but then people do weird stuff during it. And I was like, okay, is this like a costume race or what the hell is it? So I just showed up like it was a normal, like I've done a bunch of 5Ks and 10Ks. And I just showed up like it was one of those. Mm. And uh, yeah, I ran it like a normal person. But that's not the same strategy a lot of people have. <laughs> no, no. Um, Don't most people turn up halfway drunk that's kind of what i heard like i got on the train at like six to go to this thing and there's a guy dressed as a 40 of colt 45 great and he was drinking a tall boy of uh modelo or modelo i don't know how you pronounce it sure but uh it was weird it's like seeing a, a colt 45 drink a different yeah off he should brands. be drinking yeah. Colt 45 or it's, is that cannibalism it's weird though because they've really cracked down on it in the last few years well yeah like, i it heard used to be complete fucking bedlam well they used to have floats right but then the it problem floats was people like, were just leaving floats all over town well, they were so. wrecking the whole route oh like, really it was like i knew a guy that lived on right off the panhandle on the route and he fucking hated it because <laughs> it was nothing but drunk people throwing up in his bushes and like banging on his door all morning asking to use the bathroom god <laughs> so that's uh, what that's what my uber driver said is that like the panhandle especially is where a lot of that happened people were puking all over the place but uh there were signs everywhere <laughs> this year that said like no alcohol yeah. on the trail you know there were cops everywhere wow. yeah they're, they they don't like like if they see you with alcohol they're gonna do something about it now mm. like it's but people used to like people would get kegs and just drag them in wagons behind them and and just like it was just it was like booze everywhere you know mm. yeah i saw naked a, people i saw zero of that that's okay so i saw i saw numerous penises yeah um yeah and they were all old dudes yeah uh, all the naked runners were old men mm -hmm. and they were in no hurry to get to the finish line uh they're just walking around yeah. just their penises hanging out that's and there's true. just cops everywhere that sounds like, great is this is this legal it used to be you like could be an old naked time. guy and just walk in front of a cop and say hi and eat a hot dog uh, you or whatever. Know, it's like this, you know, the law enforcement uh, officers so interpret the law, let's say, on site. Is it just because <laughs> they have bigger fish to fry than some old guy's dick? Well, I, I guess. Know. I don't know. It was it was just shocking to me. Like again, I I don't know. Like I've heard there are areas around town where that's you know kind of a common thing in San Francisco. But coming from fucking I Kansas, I think it's more of a beta breakers thing hmm. and like oh, a Halloween okay. thing. It's or not an everyday thing. Like there aren't naked people walking the streets. Baker Beach, man, on the daily. I live beside the Presidio. I yeah. almost ran into naked Kevin Van Ord on Baker <laughs> Beach one day. Yikes. Yeah. Jeez. Well, like I, I I told my dad about this. I called him like at the finish line to tell him like I just saw a bunch of old guys' dicks, and he told me like. He's like, no, they can't just be walking around naked. I was like, yes, Dad, I directly saw their penises. <laughs> and he's like, if, if somebody did that in Lenexa, Kansas, within like 10 feet of walking out their front door, like 18 cops would oh, have yeah, him pinned down and he'd right. be thrown in the clinic. Right. I, I, it's got to be some kind of special allowance for this event. You know, like, I, sure. I cannot imagine. Like, if I just walked out of CBS naked right now, I can't just mm. like walk down to Montgomery Station and get on the, the fucking train. I don't know I? if you tried. I don't think I, I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> but there yeah. were places uh, around the Castro up until a couple of years ago that you could walk around naked. They just like like every day. Yeah, I were, assume I assume they were just like going easy on it for for stuff like Halloween and this, where people are out drinking right. and getting crazy all the time. Yeah, they're probably pretty loose about maybe, it. Maybe it is. Um, maybe I think it is about two thing. years ago they brought in a thing saying you couldn't do it. Anymore. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, Vinny, uh, Vinny was just here for the big live live show stuff, yeah. and he got here his he hotel. Yeah, yeah, he was naked the entire time. Actually, <laughs> if you saw the big live live show, that was on the premium. Stream. He actually yeah. painted um, his body of that black. It wasn't uh, it wasn't his <laughs> usual shirt. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, no, his hotel was right on Howard Street, which I guess they were doing some festival called the How Weird Festival. Yeah, I passed that. That was it was it was real weird. <laughs> yeah, it turns out how weird. How yeah. weird? Yeah, Vinny said like he just immediately upon like landing in San Francisco, and he's like, "All oh, right, that's the city I'm in." Just like a dude twirling his dick around, like yep. in the middle yeah. of this. Welcome back. The How Weird Festival was. I had just wandered into town to meet somebody. I didn't know this thing was going on. It was literally outside the op right outside the office. And it, there didn't seem to be any rhyme or reason of where the weird was coming from. There was, like, naked dude weird. There was, like, you know, I'm wearing leather, it's like, all over my body except for my crotch weird. There was, like, mm. I'm an extra in the first Matrix movie, like, dance scene weird. <laughs> sure. Uh, mm -hmm. And then they just had this, like, nondescript loud music playing all over the place. The weird the second Matrix movie. The, the, the yeah, first Blade movie. It's true. <laughs> the, weird, the weird has a way of diffusing itself throughout the city, you know, yeah. from, like, like was it, where's the route for this? It goes south of the park, it, uh, right, through the sun. So it started near Embarcadero Station. It, it went along Hayes Street up that, what's the full house hill, Al Alamo Square? 
Uh, no. Um, is that Al- I yeah, Alamo no, Square? Yeah, it is. Is it, is it, that is. That's the Victorians. So. Yeah. The, actual, yeah, yeah. the actual house is further up near Steiner. That's just where they had a shot on Alamo Square. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, it goes right up Hayes Street, right past Alamo Square, and then uh, through the Panhandle, and then through Golden Gate Park, and it ends down there. Oh, it goes Ocean into Beach. the park? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, run, you run through the park. So I, I, I went to the Safeway near my house uh, north of the park yesterday, or about noon. That was a mistake. <laughs> God damn it. We were like a block from the uh, Safeway, and there was a guy in a full-size shark costume peeing on somebody's garage door. Nah, wow. Oh, my God. Was and it the Katy Perry like, shark costume? Yep, it totally was. Oh, it was the guy. Great. It was the, up in the left shark. Oh, wow. Uh, Jesus. And then we went grocery shopping, and I wanted to punch a bunch of people in the face the whole time. Because it was just <laughs> yeah. overrun with drunk people in costumes. I, I bet I didn't see a lot of the drunk people, because like they organize you by corrals. So it's like, elite runners, you're going to be seated. Like You're the first ones at 8 o'clock. You, know, you, you go immediately. Yeah, the, like, first, I mean, the, the first finishers finished in like 35 minutes. Yeah, it was insane. Um, wow, what distance is it? Uh, it's about 7.5 miles. Seven, yeah, 7 okay. and change. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that the people that just want to like drink and do that shit, like I'm sure they were in like, they weren't like trying to get yeah. in the like mm. six minute mile corral or whatever. <laughs> so what was your time? Uh, you know, I don't know. I haven't even looked uh, yet. Because it sucked. My, my, it, oh, it did because my leg gave out pretty bad on the last mile and I had to like limp the whole last mile. Oh no. It sucked. What was so. your 10K speed? Uh, 10K I did in, uh, what was it? It was one hour and 57 seconds. So right. I wanted to get a sub, uh, sub hour sub man, yeah. next time. So, but yeah, it was, it was fun. I, I, I don't think I expected as much just like spectacle and pageantry out of this thing. Like I was mm. kind of expecting like that. Ah, I'm just going to run for a while, but yeah, you see some crazy stuff. No, crazy no, it, stuff. It, it, it gets nuts yeah. and it used to be even nuttier. Yeah, it was. It sounds pretty nutty from what he was talking about. Ah, yeah. Yeah. It's still bad. I mean, it's still, it's still just quite. Thank you. No, I mean there were parties and stuff. You saw a bunch of houses and stuff with tons of people were like sitting on their awnings or roofs or whatever, just like having beers or people dancing in windows and stuff like that. Like I don't know, it was just a really kind of positive thing overall. Mm-hmm. Like I, I like the whole like vibe it. of it. It's fun. It's a good time. Cool for yeah. many. <laughs>